So you're using Microsoft Access and you're trying to copy information from one column to another. Maybe you want to add a prefix, a suffix. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to simply and easily do just this. So I created this example table. I got three extra columns, copyright, prefix, and suffix. To start off, we're going to simply copy from one column to another. So I'm going to click on create, create a new query, and then right click anywhere in the gray space and then do SQL view. To start off, we're going to do updates, brackets, list, dash, example. The reason why I have to use brackets on this is because the name of the table has a dash in it. Once we do that, for the next line, I'm going to type in set copyright equal to basic text. This is simply just going to make anything in the copyrights field equal to whatever's in the basic text field. So once we do that, then make sure you got a semicolon at the end and then click query design, hit run. It'll ask you if you want to update all the records, hit yes. And then if we look back at the table, you'll see that everything from the basic text column is now in the copyright column. Now to simply do a prefix, all you want to do is basically the exact same thing. So we're going to do a set prefix equal to whatever text you want to do. I'm going to do sector and then do an amper sign and then the name of the column, which is basic text. Now, if we hit run, hit yes, and look back at the table, you'll see that we got sector and then whatever we had in the basic text column. Now, if you notice that we forgot a space, we can easily update this by going back to the query and then simply adding a space on the sector and then hitting run again. It'll just update every single record as if we did it the first time. Now to do the same thing for suffix, all you want to do is set suffix equal to basic text. And for this example, I'm going to write potato. And then if we hit run and look back at the table, you'll see that it took whatever was in basic text and then added some extra text at the end. 